Hey y'all, um, it is super, super early in the morning, but I just wanted to get on here and talk about angel numbers and specifically the one that's been getting me all week. That number's been 444. I don't understand how it works sometimes. I, I, I don't. I know that these are coming from the angelic realm, our spirit guides, things like that, but you really need to pay attention to them. You know, normally when I see an angel number the first time, I'm like, okay, well, there's an angel number in that, in that nice. The second time I'm like, okay, there's twice. Third time is well, I better look into that. Fourth time, I'm like, aha, I really need to get into this and look and see what's going on in my life to see what this pertains to. This week, it has been number 444. Now, I've been up and I'm looking at all the things that this could possibly mean. 444 means that your connection with the angelic realm is super powerful at this time and that you should trust and, and, and believe in the guidance that they're trying to give you. It also could mean a time of healing, that you need transformation, that you need change in your life, you need to level up. Now that could pertain to relationships like if you're in the middle of a breakup, you need to probably, you know, let it go and, and get on with, you know, your life and, and what it's doing. But for me, I'm not in a relationship, so that doesn't pertain to me. But if it pertains to you, you know, take a look into it, to see what's going on, look it up. It's also meant for rebellion, again in relationships maybe it is time for a breakup or maybe it's time to set boundaries maybe it's time to put your foot down and say no this is not happening anymore i have to live in peace and the only way to do that is setting your boundaries so keep that in, keep that in mind it might not necessarily mean a breakup and that you should ruin your whole relationship over this you know your angel number but it does mean possibly that you need to set boundaries or redirect it into a path that it is that it is more successful and more loving you know that's all up to you and how it pertains to you um, you know letting go of things that are holding you back to move forward does not necessarily mean relationships it could mean your work life it could mean your you know, something you're doing in your daily routine, you need to let that go because it's not working. And we all need things to work and make our, our lives better and, and more uh, fruitful and, and, and living things that make our life more joyous. So, you know, we really need to work on that. We all need to work on that because we could all be more happy in life. We just need to redirect and, and, and push our path to a way that is good for us. You know, because normally when we're happy, everyone around us is happy. Now, this is what I think it could pertain to me. Now, this is just between us. Um, it also could mean in love that your guardians are working to find you the perfect partner. I've been waiting a long, long time. So I'm hoping that this is this pertains to me that my guardians are looking for someone that could be my perfect mate. Somebody that understands me, that loves me, that is compassionate, um, has the same passion as I do. Um, I, don't, I don't mean my exact duplicate. I mean somebody who can mesh with me and, and we live, you know, doing their things and my things and, and living in, in a, you know, in a way that, that we can enjoy all things. So I'm, you know, I'm really, really excited about this number. I've seen it four times this week 
and I'm I'm super excited that this could actually mean a change for me and I hope that when you see your angel numbers that you really look into it and see what pertains to you I, I hope that this helps somebody out there um, we'll do more on numbers but I hope everybody has a great day and I'll see you on the next show. Bye, everybody.